morning. It's my pleasure to share with you this uh, comparative analysis of the visual and refractive outcome of uh, Lentis Comfort and Lentis Comfort Toric lens. This is a single center court uh, study about uh, 316 eyes. Here are my disclosures. So to introduce uh, this IOL, this is one piece plate loop bifocal IOL with a total lens of 11 millimeters and an optical uh, diameter of 6 millimeters. This lens is uh, designed with two sector-shaped uh, regions. The upper uh, zone is dedicated to the far vision, while the inferior zone is an intermediate sighted region with an additional of plus 1.5 diopters. The material is hydrophilic with a hydrophobic surface, and the toric version ranges from T0 to T6, allowing uh, an estimated correction up to five diopters. It belongs to Edof family now. So the purpose of uh, our study was to analyze the functional and refractive post-operative outcomes at one month under real-life conditions. The primary endpoint was a monocular uncorrected distance visual amplitude at one month in both group. The secondary endpoints were uh, subjective uh, spherical equivalence, residual astigmatism, monocular and binocular and corrected near visual equity, and corrected intermediate visual equity for some of them, and the minimal add to read um, 0.1 logma, and Li, uh, the visual outcome according to the subtype of astigmatism. This is a retrospective monocentric study conducted in real life in Nyon in France, uh, with uh, this area implanted consecutively uh, between July 2020 and May 2023. The inclusion criteria were uh, all consecutive patients older than 18 years undergoing a bilateral cataract surgery. The toric was indicated if corneal astigmatism was superior or equal to 0.75 diopters, if against the rule, and in case of with the hole, we have indicated if the astigmatism was superior or equal to one diopter. The exclusion criteria were all conditions that could impair uh, the visual outcome. The IOL calculation was evaluated by using the uh, YOL Master 700 and the SRKT formula for emetropia, except for hyper open patients, where the multiformula function was preferred. And we use the TORIC website, TORIC Length Configurator, as you can see here on the right of the slide. This is an example of the calculation. The surgery was performed through 2.2 uh, clear cornea incision with two side ports uh, 90 degrees apart for bimanual irrigation and aspiration. Five surgeons were included, and we used digital alignment for TORIC lenses in 100%. The patients were divided into two groups, the group one for lentis comfort and the group two for lentis comfort toric. Here are the uh, results for baseline characteristics. Uh, we um, uh, can uh, show that um, toric lenses represent about one quarter of the cohort, and the two groups were comparable for all these baseline characteristics, except for corneal astigmatism that is uh, coherent with our indication of toric lens. Here are the refractive results at one month. No significant reference in uh, difference was, uh, was made, was uh, found, sorry, in refractive between the two groups in terms of subjective sphere, subjective cylinder, spherical equivalent near to zero, and the near addition needed around 1.5 diopters in the two groups. Here are the visual uh, results at one month. No difference between the two groups for far intermediate that we have tested in a subgroup and the near vision in the total cohort. 
the mean uncorrected uh, distance vision is around zero rov mar in both groups. The mean monocular uncorrected near vision is around 0.3. This is Parino 3 in France. While the binocular uncorrected near vision is around 0.2 rov mar. This is Parino 2 in France. That is a very, very good result. And a subgroup was stated well, for uh, intermediate visual acuity. This is around 0. Uh, 15, this is very good result too for intermediate vision. Now if we focus for, uh, on uh, toric uh, refractive results at one month, this graph represents on the left the pre-operative corneal astigmatism and on the right you have the post-operative refractive astigmatism. So we, can, uh, we have shown that uh, uh, the correction of the astigmatism is very effective Whatever the subtype of the astigmatism, the IOL axis alignment had no impact on visual acuity and the residual uh, astigmatism was 0.23 versus free up 1.2 diameters. So we have assessed two uh, monocular composite criteria. The first one is uh, uncorrected distance visual acuity if I are equal to 0.1 and uncorrected near vision equal to 0.3 or better. In this case, we, uh, we can see here that half of patients reached this excellent far and near vision in both graphs. The second uh, composite criteria tested was that we call subtle vision. This is distance visual acuity inferior or equal to zero and near vision equal to 0.2. And supervision is reached significantly more frequently in toric group in about 30%. We have assessed a questionnaire in some patients. This is a subgroup. We have uh, tested the spectacle independence score according to the score on the right. The mean score is about four points. And we have found that more than half of patients presented high or total spectacle independence. Concerning photo photic phenomena now, this is um, a range score ranging from 0 to 27. The mean score for comfort was around 2, that is very low, and no severe photic phenomena was uh, uh, reported, and three quarters of patients reported at most mild photic phenomena or not. So to conclude, to acknowledge this uh, comparative study reports the largest cohort of uh, lentis comfort at IOL. This is the first real-life comparison between lentis comfort and uh, toric version in terms of uh, visual performance. We report three important data. This IOL uh, does not penalize uh, distance vision as previously, as previously described. It provides a very satisfactory intermediate and near vision allowing near daily activities. And the toric correction is efficient, whatever the astigmatism subtype, confirming that the position of the near segment of the IOL does not impact the visual performance as it was previously uh, described in one paper. The toric version provides similar results than non-toric lenses. No safety concern during this study was observed and few photic phenomena were reported. So we have very satisfactory level of uh, spectacular independence for this aid of our well too. Thank you for your attention.